Hey friends, I'm so glad you're here because we're gonna play The Cannibal Abduction. I've actually played one of the previous games of this developer, and that game is called Night of the Scissors. It was an excellent representation of classic survival horror, while also clearly being influenced by classic slasher films. And their newest game, Cannibal Abduction, is supposed to take that to the next level. And I absolutely cannot wait. I'm really excited to sit down with this game and play it with you guys for the first time. You all know how much I miss you between videos. And this really just seems like the perfect game to play on like a dark and stormy night because the concept of both cannibals and being abducted is terrifying. So let's jump into the story and see what we got going on. Now, if this is anything like Night of the Scissors, it's going to have tank controls, which I don't mind personally. I just need a controller. Um, I definitely, in general, for these kind of games, Man, prefer controller. Man, I've been needing this for so long. Voice Bob acting. I didn't even notice. Too busy on the bottle, as usual. As usual. Hell yes! Love the graphics already. Just the road and I. Just the road and what? I. No, 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 baby, don't do this to me now! Shit! Oop. <laughs> That's what happened to my car. <laughs> Great. Currently carless. What a day to end up stranded, huh? I reckon. Oh, thank God. Could I get a lift? This heap of junk just died on me. I, I sure love this, so. like... But I wouldn't leave your vehicle out You know, here. deliberately That's cheesy sad. overtone. My home's just over yonder, and lucky for you, this old man's a mechanic. That is lucky. Tell her to my garage. What could go wrong? Would you? Mighty kind of you, sir. Grab some rope and tie it good and tie it to the truck now. Great shot. Oh, I'm on board. Uh, I'm just smiling, thinking about, like, this is my kind of game. Farm, son. Must be pretty boring around these parts. <laughs> you would be surprised. Some things happen out here folks wouldn't believe. Dun, dun, All right, dun. let's pop the hood and take a gander. Let's take a gander now. Come on now. Heavens to Betsy. Heavens to Betsy. <laughs> right mess. I oh, love God. this. Oh, my ass. Don't worry yourself now. Hmm, I'll make you an offer. I see you got a toolbox in your back seat. The old lady's been bugging me to fix an old wardrobe for weeks, but the garage has me busy as a cat on a hot tin roof. You it, ain't no mechanic, that's for sure. Is one of you the farmer's hands my missing? Trade? My pop's profession. I know my way around to hammer and nail. Okay, so Sounds we have basic like we tool have skills. Come, let's get inside. Yeah, he only has one hand. After you. Is he the cannibal? So, is this the wardrobe? It sure is. Should be I have a feeling this might be right? like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre where it's a hour. family. <laughs> that a boy. I'll get to fixing your vehicle. It'll run better than ever. Oh, before I forget, the wife listens to her favorite radio mm. station around this time. Don't want to annoy the old goat. The old Better goat. The door closed if that's all right with you. Sure, man. All right, let's get to it. Yeah, I have a feeling this is going to go into the Texas Chainsaw Massacre direction. Which, that's another game I'm pretty excited for, honestly. Uh, there's like a... It's kind of like Dead by Daylight, but it's Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We'll definitely play it. The job is almost done. Man, it's getting dark here. Does this old house have energy or even lights? I'll ask the farmer if he has something to light the place. Otherwise, I can't finish. So he's been here for quite some time. Okay, cool. So we got started. All right, we can interact with objects. That's what we're trying to fix right there. Let's see if we can... The door is locked? Huh. He calls for someone, but no one answers. I think I may have something to open it in my toolbox. All right, so back to the toolbox. Do we have a run button? Okay, we do. Okay, I think that's a hammer right there. Yeah, grab that. Oh, pumpkin wants to come up again. This always happens. Every time I do a video. You guys want to see her? Oof, here she is. Say hi, pumpkins. Say hi. Show the nubbins. 
Nubbins. I think she's going to chill with us for the uh, remainder of the gameplay session. So we got the hammer. And we have what looks like a pick. Yep, we can use this to pick the lock. Okay, makes sense. Basic introduction to puzzle solving and item management in a horror game. How convenient, a flashlight. You've got a flashlight. Okay, equip the flashlight to reveal items that can be grabbed. Keep in mind that Henry is easier to be noticed when the flashlight is on. All right. Noticed. Interesting how they're already saying that, considering, you know, we don't really know we're in danger yet. Your mother and I are leaving for town. We will be back later tonight. Great news. I have a nice young stray locked in Fred's bedroom. Uh-oh. Take care of it as soon as possible. Don't play with the food. So we are the food. Very clearly that this is a house of cannibals. They're just getting right to it. They locked me in that bedroom on purpose. Don't play with the food. What the hell are these weirdos talking about? Seems like I'm alone for now, but I don't have much time. I must get the fuck out of here. Alright, so let's see. Okay, oh, and we have a flashlight toggle. Very good. Yeah, I actually don't really mind tank controls in a horror game. Um, I'm very used to them. It can be open with a common key. Okay, so if we collect a common key, we know to make our way back. Easier to be noticed. Armored glass? That's missing a doorknob? That's a good lock. Okay, so a lot of these areas are still inaccessible. I gotta say, I love... First of all, I love the tone of the game so far. Very slasher-esque. Old school slasher. But... Um, the atmosphere of the house. I mean, this is, this is believable. Maybe there's something in here. Okay. I like how they automatically open all the drawers instead of, um, having us pick through them one by one. Like in most horror games, that's a big plus. There are two separate from the rest. One is about exotic cooking recipes and the other is about human anatomy. So yes, really hammering home that this is a family of cannibals in the countryside here. Okay. It's very quiet too. Let's go ahead and search. Nope. Nothing so far, but I am a little cautious at the moment because... I feel like we need to be very careful. And I lost my original lock pick. So if we find any more, we know that that's a cheap lock that can be picked. Water won't come out. Oh, that's a human arm that they're cutting up. So they're preparing dinner. Here's another common key lock. I'm not opening the fridge, yeah. No, no need to see what we know we're already going to see. Um... Huh. February 3rd, before going to bed last night, I found Aunt Marie sitting by our living room radio alone. She was staring at the radio with a blank look on her face and turning the dial over and over like she was trying to find a specific frequency. When I told her good night, she ignored me as if I was lost in as, as if she was lost in her own little world. Uncle Bob told me she had been up all night. Maybe I should ask her about it. February fourth. Couldn't help but ask Aunt Marie why she was up so late. As she opened her mouth to speak, she became overjoyed and giddy like a child. She told me I finally did it. It's the radio, you see. I can connect to it with the radio. It talks to me. When I asked her who it was, her sweet, joyful smile faded as that blank stare I seen last night returned, like her soul got sucked out of her body all of a sudden. I left the room and we both ignored each other for the entire day. I'm starting to really worry about her. I think she needs to see a doctor. Um, I think everyone here probably needs to see a doctor. Ooh. All right, I'm not gonna touch that for now. I'm a little worried that touching that is going to 
trigger something to happen? Pizza, a slice of pizza. Interesting, there's bandages. Yeah, we'll grab those. I've shit myself already. <laughs> okay. The water stinks. The bathtub was filled a while ago. So we're gonna drain it. And we got a bronze key. Okay. Okay. I think someone else could be in the house. All right. That's not good. That's what I was worried about. I need a hammer. Oh, we have a hammer. Okay. Quickly. There's very little sound in this game, but the sound that is there is effective. And every time I hear a sound, I'm always like, man, what is going to hear us? April 14th. Aunt Marie and Uncle Bob won't be back from their trip until tomorrow, and Philip shouldn't be a problem. Almost every day when the clock strikes 8.45 p.m., Philip goes to the basement, and we don't see him until the next day. He's been doing this for weeks. I'm counting on him doing it again today. I'll update later if I find anything. Update. As soon as I heard the basement door shut, I rushed to the radio. I wasn't sure what I was looking for, but I started twisting the dial just like Aunt Marie did that night. I can't fully explain what I found, but some channels had strange sounds I've never heard before. It sounded like some kind of animal singing? Humming? It kept repeating the same three patterns in the same order. I could tell because each pattern had a distinct tone and length. Is this the it my family talks about? This makes no sense. I can't hear it say anything. I just don't understand any of this. Okay. So I think that is pointing us in the direction of the radio. Common key. We don't have a common key. We have a bronze key, which is a very specific key. I'm assuming. All right. So remember, there is somebody in this house. VHS tape pockets are full. Oh, I got to go to the toolbox and leave some of it there. Okay, we can do that. What do I have in my... Oh, that's a healing item? Okay. Let's go ahead and go back upstairs real quick. Um, I think I've been here. We still need to be careful. I don't like those doors closing either. Let's go check if the bronze key works over here. Remember when we saw this good lock earlier? I have a feeling maybe if we're lucky, the bronze key can work over here. Okay, let's do this. This is a good lock. I won't be able to lock pick it. Yes. I was right, just shove it right in there. Okay. So that key is used. So we do have more inventory space now. Open menu while hidden. Paul's not allowed, hold to quit, okay. Okay, so we're checking the drawer. I'm assuming there's not gonna be, oh, okay, Never mind. I was wrong. So, a second VHS tape? Real quick, quick, let me... Can I hide in here? Oh, I can. Okay. So that's the hiding mechanic if we end up needing it. Well, when we end up needing it. Bathroom. Bobby pin. Uh, pockets are full. Okay. So... Let's go ahead and get this with the hammer. I think this leads us back to the original door. Or to the original room. Yes, here we are. Okay, so let's go to the toolbox here. We can put that in there. Um, we'll do the videotape. I'm not sure how saving works. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You save with the videotapes. There's limited saves. Oh, shit. All right, we got the bobby pin. All right, that makes this significantly more terrifying. So wait a minute. 
I wonder if this works the same as the other game with the whole static. Where the more the static is, the closer the enemy is to you. All right, we need to be really, really careful. I have a gut feeling they're very close. All right, so let's go ahead and grab that videotape. Yeah, they're single use, okay. We might as well do it right now. Oh, I'm extremely nervous now. So, I do have a bobby pin where I can pick another cheap lock. But I need to figure out where exactly that cheap lock was. Alright, let me go pick the cheap lock first. I, I'm a little cautious to be messing with the radio right now. Let's see, right here? Common key, nope. I think it was near here. Yep, right here. Thank God we know how to pick locks. I would not know how to do this. Picture of Johnny Boy. I remember watching him live with the crickets when I was younger. Yeah, see, I don't like that static. Making me very nervous. May 13th, I was playing with Daisy today. She was the only member of the family I can trust. She was so happy, wagging her tail and playing with her toys gave me comfort. I've not felt, or comfort I've not felt in a long time. She reminded me of when things were normal. But something is not right with her. It's her breath. She licked my chin and the stench nearly made me throw up. What the hell are they feeding her? It doesn't even smell like dog food. Yeah, it's humans. I'm getting the hell out of this house. I cannot recognize my family anymore. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. A blood-soaked bandage wrapped around their arms, resting on the table with the blood still wet. They cut off their own fucking arms. Which explains why the uh, old man had his hand missing. Uncle Bob grabbed my arm and placed a cleaver into my hand. He sat back down and they all looked at me. He asked me if I wanted to do it too. I threw the cleaver on the table and ran up to my room. I have all my bags packed now and I'm ready to leave this hellhole. So this person sounds normal and like they were raised in this terrible environment. Uncle Bob, Aunt Marie, Philip, I promise I'll be back with help. Please be safe, Daisy. Jeez. Oh. What the hell is that? That does not look like a dog. Oh, it is a dog. I wonder how recent these notes are. So that dog is obviously not going to let us do anything here. We got another videotape. All right, let's check here. I'm being careful not to run. Oh. Um, you know what? Let's go check that radio. Alright, I think it was in this room. We don't have any common keys yet. Let's check my items. I have room for one more. Alright, we gotta listen carefully for that sound. It does almost sound like an animal. It's so quiet, though. Oh. Yeah, our static's getting worse. Oh! I don't know who that is. And I don't want to know. Come on, no, 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 no. These are where tank controls are rough. All 
All right. Okay. Oh, he's still following me. I think I need to hide. So he'll keep chasing you until you hide, I'm assuming? So the static is a tell. It's kind of like in Silent Hill with the radio. It must work the same way. I'm not sure exactly what to do with the radio. Um, I'm not sure if we left it on the correct setting. But we do need to check back about that downstairs area. Okay, I think we're safe. So let's be careful. Part of the reason why we were caught was because we had the flashlight out. Oh, right, the doorknob. Okay, now we're back. In the top here, we're going to go down and try to find the basement once again. And be very careful and quiet and meticulous about it. Because I do not want to meet that guy again. Hello, doggy. I'm coming back for you at some point. Ah, here we go. Alright, I have no idea what's down here. And I'm very nervous to find out. There's a key, common key. Okay, well, I know one spot for that. Anything down here? This was the area that um, one of the family members would just retreat down here for hours. All right, let's remember that there's a hiding spot down there. And let's check into the kitchen. Here? Yes. Here we go. Common key. Boom. A jug? Oh, I can continue to use the common key. Okay. Um... All right, we got to go put that back up. Oh, this is probably not the best idea. Fuck it, we're just going to go for it because... I know what I need to do with the common key. Let's, um, let's put the hammer back. Because it doesn't seem like we need that for anything immediate. I think there's another right here. Bingo. Okay, bandages, that's useful, but not, not a requirement. Once you get the common key though, there's quite a few things that open up to you. Go ahead and put the bandages back just in case we end up needing those. Let's see, yeah, cabinets and counters. I, th I thought I saw one door that was like, hey, this is a common lock. That has a missing knob, and then this one we opened. Oh! God, that noise. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there he is. No, 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 no. We're fast. We're too fast for him. Down to the basement. So he really is just roaming around the entire house. I wonder if there's any zones that are considered safe zones? Because I was still getting the static even though I was in the starting room. So, I'm just going to assume any room is dangerous. 
All right, let's see if we can open this. Bingo. Is that more health? Oh, can of dog food. Okay, no, that we need. I know exactly what to do with that. But, um, before we do that, let's go ahead. I think this is a good place to take a quick save. Bingo. Okay. Right, let's get back to the hiding spot real quick. Okay. Gamers, I think that's a good stopping point for this episode. Uh, I appreciate you hanging with me. This game is really cool. Uh, I love the vibe, the tone it sets, the atmosphere. It, it very much is like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre type scenario. Once again, I think the developer knocked out of the park. His first game... Uh, Night with the Scissors was just exceptional in my opinion. One of my favorite horror games from last year. If you haven't seen that, check it out. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing and liking the video. It helps me a ton. Thank you so much for hanging with me. I love you guys very much. And I will see you in part two of The Cannibal Abduction.